EMS comes with its own material library that you can access by clicking this button on the right side. The EMS materials folder here comes with predefined materials from the EMWorks company. In this particular material folder, we also have some permanent magnets. For example, we have categorized them as Alnico, Ceramic, NDFEB and Samarium Cobalt. Let's look at what are the properties needed to define your own magnet in EMWorks. So let me select an existing magnet from the database. You can see that the main properties that are needed to do a simulation using magnet is the coercivity and remnants value for the magnet. Note that the coercivity value, although is negative because it is in the second quad quadrant, we need to enter them as a positive value in EMS. Then we also need the relative permeability which is actually calculated based on the coercivity and remnants of the magnet. So to create a custom material in EMWorks requires you to first create a new library. Let us rename this library as say my magnet library and hit save. Notice that my magnet library folder is created. Now I can create materials under this folder. But an easier way of creating my own magnets is to copy an existing permanent magnet from EMWorks material library. To do that, I open the respective category. I right click and select copy. Then I can go to my magnet library right click on that and say paste. So automatically EMWorks will copy and paste the existing material from its library to here. Now I can go ahead and edit this particular material. I can change the values. For example, I need a coercivity of 958,000 amps per meter and a remnants value of 1.312 Tesla. And these two produce a relative permeability equal to 1.0898. So after defining these three, I can hit validate. And I can also rename my material by saying NDFEBN42 custom material. And I can go ahead and save the material in the material library. Now to assign this material, I can simply go in EMS, select the component which is a magnet and then I select from my magnet library the newly created material and then I say apply and close. So now I have assigned NDFEB N42 custom material to this particular component. For every magnet there is a direction, so one should also apply a coercivity direction. Here I can use both my global as well as local coordinate system to define my coercivity direction. I'm just going to use the global coordinate system and align my magnet along the y-axis. I can also choose to see the direction by showing a preview of the magnet direction. Now we have learned how to define your own material library in EMS, define your own magnet and also apply them for simulation.